Um, thanks. Uh, first of all, thanks uh, everyone for joining. Uh, most importantly, uh, Corpus uh, for being here tonight. Uh, as you know, this is the first, hopefully many uh, to come, uh, um, One Nation podcast. Um, so Corpus, uh, how have you been, man? Uh, I've been pretty good. I've been playing offline a lot lately, and people are wondering where I was streaming, but just been taking a break from all that. Exactly. Uh, we have uh, missed you. Uh, we definitely have seen you in, in the air. Mm -hmm. um, one, of the, one of the first questions to have here, Corpus, is one of the things I always like to ask uh, is, where'd your name come from? Uh, well, it's, it's a little different for each name, part of the name. The Corpus part is something I came up with. I wanted something that sounded kind of dark, I guess. So instead of like using the C, I kind of want to be a little original by adding the K. And the last part is something my girlfriend actually made up. So it's, it's like a two part thing. Interesting. And the last part is like totally, yeah, the last part is totally random made up. Like the Drage part? Yes, the second part, yep. Mm -hmm. I actually, I actually uh, did not want the uh, second part, so. No. <laughs> I don't know. That the name you've had even in uh, BF3 as well? Yes. Yep, that's the name I had. Yeah. Yep. I wasn't really well known in BF3. Uh, uh, no. No. Nope. Okay. Good, good. Um, so what about your gaming past? What was your first uh, game that you ever played or first system that you ever played? Oh, uh, I don't remember the first game I ever played. I was like really young, but the first system I ever had was a Nintendo, a regular Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I don't remember the first game I ever played. It's probably <laughs> Mario or something like that, probably Duck Hunt. I think we can all relate to that. Yeah, I think we're all around the same age. Mine was uh, Ninja Turtles on uh, Nintendo, so... <laughs> oh, I remember that game. I had that game, actually. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Beat that game. To me, uh, that game was really hard when I was young. It, it was really hard, yeah. <laughs> so, um, are there any other games oh. that you play right now? Uh, not right now. Usually, like, even back on BF3, I'm just kind of, like, addicted to one multiplayer game, and what I'll do is if a good single-player game comes out, I'll take a break from that multiplayer game and go through a single-player game. Like, recently I went through Witcher, and I went through Fallout. Mm -hmm. So whatever, like, a good single-player game I like comes out, I'll go through that. Like, Quantum Breaks around the corner, I'll be going through that. Not yeah. sure if you guys know what that game is. No, actually, I do not. No? <laughs> no. Ever heard of Alan Wake? Yes. Yeah, it's by the same developers. Remedy? Oh, okay. Uh, nice. Are there, are there any games that you're excited for? Mm, not really. Not right now. Maybe like in fall. Waiting to see what the looks like in June. But other than that, not really. Not right now. I think we're all actually, actually is waiting for, for a demo for that. Looks like the community might be coming back if, it, if it's good enough. Hopefully. Yep. Yeah, exactly. As long as it's not like a hard line, right? Eh? <laughs> oh, don't fail. go there. I personally liked it. I had no one to play with, though. <laughs> so, it just felt, felt good, but it was a big fail, that's for sure. Not Battlefield. So I guess, uh, speaking of fails and stuff, how do you feel about Xbox right now? Mm, like, can you elaborate on that? Like, what do you mean, how do I feel on it? Lots of talks about, there's lots of gossip. Like, uh, I've recently heard that, you know, they've announced that, well, it's mainly just gossip, but I've heard that there's been talks of Xbox Live shutting down in general, um, the cross-platform oh, really? information. Yes, just little things I've been hearing. Mm -hmm. Oh, hmm, I never heard about the... Like well, the new dashboard. It's shutting down or anything like that, but the cross-platform play, I am actually really excited for that, For at least for the console aspect, you know, PS4 to Xbox. Yeah. yeah. I think it could actually, like, for a dead game, so to speak, of PS4, 
like having two different platforms be cross platform would actually make it alive. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a good thing. Yeah. No, I agree. It, I think it'll do great things for the community. Um, are you a member of the preview program? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Because I know what that brings a lot of bugs, so, you know, that might have given you a bit more of an opinion on Xbox itself right now. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of invites for the preview program, but, uh, I don't know. I'm just kind of very on, you know, bugs and all that, so popping up. Mm -hmm. I was too, actually. Yeah, I feel the same way. Um, I will say, though, on the positive side, there's been a lot of, like, uh, good updates uh, recently with, like, the 60-man uh, party chat. Uh -huh. Would you agree? There's, I think everyone's really enjoying that. Yeah. Uh, the bigger party chats? Yeah, yeah. I think they're great. I can't say I'm very long, though. Like, like, a lot of chatter tends to give me a headache, especially during, like, matches and scrims. Like, everyone's talking all at once. Kind of gives oh, me yeah. a headache, so. Yeah, we all know the baby. Yeah, I definitely feel the same way, too. Now, um, let's go back to VF4. So, VF4 has been around uh, two years, if not just a bit more than that. And it seems like the community slowly, it's, you know, it has its ups and downs as far as competitive. Um, do you see yourself playing competitive in BF4, or are you just entirely waiting for BF5 to come around? Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind doing some every now and then, you know, like, but as far as going full hearts for it, so to speak, I don't think I'm, I want to do that, you know, like, every once in a while, like, if I wasn't on a team or anything, I wouldn't mind ringing here and there, or, you know, playing a match here and there, you know, just something to do, but as far as playing a match, like, every weekend, or, like, two a weekend, or something, I don't really want to do anything like that until Battlefield Five. I hear you. Yeah, I think, uh, I, uh, I think a lot of us feel the same way. Yeah, I guess that would so, bring us to um, our next question. In regards to competitive so ahead, for Battlefield. Um, you know, how do you feel? Like, what do you think about competitive on Battlefield right now? Where do you think it's going? I'm actually surprised it's still going at all, to be honest. The same. I mean, it is a pretty old game, but, you know, to say... I, I mean, it's not completely dead, but it's not like it used to be, you know? Yeah. But I... I I think it's still kind of strong. I mean, you still got big teams going at it, and I mean, there's a little team that's rising up now, and I don't know. It's not, it's, I don't think it's completely dead, but it's not a lie like it used to be. I think it's in okay state. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Well, there's fans, you know, well, people either love or hate the game. Yeah. Now, um,. I'm looking here at your battle log stats, and uh, you have a total of uh, 3,615 total hours. Oh, Damn, wow. That's a lot of hours. <laughs> uh, it's actually a little more than that if you count unranked matches, you know, like competitive games. Right? Yeah. Yeah, in unranked oh. competitive games, yeah. So I can see why you feel, you know, uh, just tired of the game. It's two years yeah. old. Yeah, I'm so just kind of beat on it. it. Yeah. But it's, I mean, and. In actuality, that uh, I don't know, this is like the only multiplayer game I find that's actually really fun to play. You know, I got like Black Ops Three, and I got other ones, but it's just this one is the only game I can keep coming back to, and it's fun to play. Yeah, I guess yeah, I feel so, the same. Uh, way. I mean, it has its problems, you? obviously. But... <laughs> yeah. How did you manage to play so many hours in this game? <laughs> I know everyone uh, wants to know. I mean, <laughs> I mean, for like, what was it, like two straight years I played nothing else, you know, besides Battlefield. Like, no single play games, nothing. You know, so whenever I did get on to play, it was just this. You know, so. Yeah. Yeah, we know. Um, <laughs> now, um, something more, and you, you gotta be honest here, you know, with that yeah. number of hours you put in, uh, do you think that's taken a, a toll, I guess, in your personal life? Is there something you would change as far as, like, playing so much or... Uh, uh, red I mean, yeah, it, it does take a, a lot of your time trying to play, but, to, like, to me, like, I did it just so I can, like, keep improving, because I feel like if I don't, 
play as much as like I did, I rushed up pretty quick. But I don't know if that makes any sense, but uh, you know, like I have to keep at it for me to be good at it. If I don't, I just I just feel like I'm not doing as good, and it frustrates me. So that's why I just put in all those hours. And yeah, I mean, it does cut into personal life and stuff like that, but. I tended not to get a lot of hours of sleep back when I played it like I used to. Like I hardly ever got any sleep. I was always tired. Definitely understand yeah, that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you recall seeing you in servers there at the late hours. Yes. With your fan base. You have a lot of followers out there. <laughs> People probably thought it was like an excuse like every time like if I wasn't doing good I'd say like I'm tired or something. But you know, it was actually the truth because I didn't really get much sleep. Yeah, I find that sometimes, like, you can't just get on and play a round or two. Like, you plan on getting on for an hour, and it turns into five, six hours, so I think we all can Well, the thing is, that. like, yeah, like, if I plan on getting on for, like, an hour or two, or a couple hours, or a few hours, and I have, like, someone pop on, and they invite me to a party, and they go, come on, just play a couple more, you know, I just got on, so I end up playing another hour or two with that, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I hate to ask this, but like some people, like I don't know if you're in the Twitch chat, but some people have asked a few questions. Some of them are a little silly, like I normally wouldn't ask this, but Rain Weapon asked a pretty dumb question, but I know people like to know the answer. <laughs> um, if you don't want to answer, you don't have to, but he says, Corpus, on a scale of 1 to 10, how big are you? 1 being 100 pounds, 10 being 200 pounds. Oh, okay. So they want to know, know if you're fat because right? you, cause you play so much. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, it's a lot of fat. I'm not fat at all. Being a girl gamer, I've had people say to me, like, oh, you know, you're a Twinkie eating fat 400 pound biatch, you know, so <laughs> excuse no, my I'm language. Not I'm not that tall either, though. So, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i average weight, I guess. <laughs> I'm not that tall. I'm like five seven, I think. So you're staying a number five. five. Weapon and thanks a lot for making me ask that. I just have to say. <laughs> no, I'm definitely not fat. I get a lot of messages. About that. I might. Be. Yeah, actually, let me ask you something about that. Yeah, I, I do know that uh, there are a lot of young players, uh, jet pilots, who really look up to you. But at the same time, with all the many hours you put into this, I know you're probably one of the most trolled player. Um, what do you think that is? Uh, well, I. Probably it's mainly when I stream and I have the title. Probably people think I'm cocky or I have an ego or something because I keep saying that how many kills I got. But actually, when I first started streaming, I put it as conquest and dogfights, and people kept telling me I should change it to the number one attack jet pilot and stuff like that. So I really didn't get trolled up until that point, to be honest. I probably would have still got trolled, but I think that might have been some of it. Understanding. And some people just find it funny regardless, you know? Because someone's streaming, so they have to go in there and get a reaction. On a positive note, is there any advice, uh, I guess, to all the new jet pilots who want to play competitor or just pubs? Uh, what was the question? It, do you have any advice uh, for all these uh, new players who don't want to get into chat and become competitive? So they just, like, any advice for pubbing in jets? Yeah, just mm -hmm. improving their game skill. Yeah, well, players that want to be calm. For one, I, uh, for, well, for one, I mean, if you're playing Conquest Swords, I would never, ever trust, like, if you're in the attack jet, I would never trust a blueberry in the south jet to handle the other jets, I would always, even if you're in the attack jet, it's not meant for dogfighting, but I would always go take those jets out first. It doesn't matter if you think that stealth jet's going to or not. Always, always go for those stealth jets at first. And, you know, you don't really, you don't really need to know too much about strafing. Strafing's the easy part. I'd probably say put in a good week or two practicing jets and you will get it down. It's just the dogfighting aspect that takes forever and that will just come with time if you just practice, but most people in pubs can't do it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go back to the whole uh, being trolled thing. So, 
Corpus Rage. <laughs> Famous nickname given by a lot of your Twitch viewers. Do you think it's an accurate nickname that they've given you? Because you rage a lot? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I'm, I've always been rage. It doesn't matter. Like, even single player games, I, I'll rage if it's something, like, really ridiculous and stupid that developers would put in the game. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's just something I do, I guess. You want to let us know what makes you rage the most? Uh, in Battlefield? Yeah. Um, I would want to say lag, but I think sometimes when I see teammates, like when we have no flags, I just look at the big map and I see like teammates on one flag without spreading out. I think that makes me rage the most. Yeah, that's understandable. Go ahead. Like, I've seen that a lot more recently with people. Yeah. I used to think it was really funny than anything. <laughs> Now, Corpus, you stream daily, um, you know, nonstop. I remember just late hours, you were always there. Um, and at one point, um, you know, we checked and you were almost like a close to 5,000 followers. Do you think, uh, and, you know, just an honest answer, do you think that fame has gotten to you in one point or the other in a positive or negative way? I mean, you're pretty big in the community when it comes to just you know, um, dog fighting I'd say, or I'd say both. a streamer. I mean, I'd say both. Maybe, you know, negative because how much you get trolled because of the fact, but, I mean, you make a lot of friends doing it, too, and you have a lot of people that back you up if you do get trolled, so, I mean, it's a ball. Yeah. It balances itself out. Did all of your Twitch followers only watch you play Battlefield, or did you stream any other games? Uh, it's just Battlefield. I have wow. ever streamed. 4,200 followers, which is Battlefield, and the community is so much smaller. Yeah, be now of that. it is. It used to be. It used to be yeah. bigger though. Like that's when I first started. Was when the uh, game was kind of new, still, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you know, you had a lot more people watching back then. Like if I would have started a stream up now, I don't get as many viewers as I would back then. I mean, uh, honestly, though, because I can't speak if you have a view, but I will tell you, man, I think you a lot to the game. Uh, you're one of those players that are always winning. Know, get into a dog fight with no hesitation and show a lot of the new guys how to play. So, uh, we need more players like you. I think keep it up, man. Whether whether. Oh yeah, for sure. Still in. The yeah, I mean, I'll definitely be around for the dog fight. And it's kind of like Menchu. Actually, I want to bring Menchu up real quick. Um, back in Battlefield 3, Betchu was actually a big reason why I kept dogfighting, because, you know, he just made it fun for me. I never actually got to do 1v1s with him in the dogfight server, but whenever I saw him in a pub, he was, like, always successful with it, and he would always just give me a 1v1 in pubs. This was, like, back before I even do speed control or anything, and he would just give me, like, little tips here and there, what to do, and it just, uh, just made it fun for me, so that's how I just kind of tried to keep him driven. Yep. That would have been yeah, one of our next now. couple uh, questions I was going to ask you. Players. Yeah, exactly. Would it be safe to say that Mentu is a mentor and somebody that you've always looked up to on this game? I respected Mentu for a long time, yes. And, like, he doesn't make enough videos on his YouTube, of course, but, you know, so I can't really watch what he did and all that, but... I mean, as a mentor, you know, that would be somebody that would, you know, kind of always help and uh, tutor you in a way, right? It wasn't anything like that. It was just like if I asked him something, he'd, he wouldn't hesitate to answer me back. Yeah. I do have high respect for mentor. I always have. Nice. Go ahead, Lex. Yeah, I think uh, mentor is one of those that we would like to get on the podcast as well. Looks like we are getting a little here. Um, so um, I think we're done as far as the questions. So we'll put the is there um, any shout outs? I mean, as outs, far you want to say, as say? far as uh, shout outs, I'd like to say that uh, Tack actually. I mean, I mean, I have high respect for Tack too, and I like that he keeps streaming, and he's probably one of my favorite streamers out there right now, and he does so much for the 3D too, so I would like to see a podcast with Tack, actually. 
I agree. Definitely on my list. We'll definitely consider that in that approach. I appreciate that. Yeah, definitely that session to include a uh, finisher. So anyone in general let us know we'll contact them and see if we can get them on as well but uh corpus thank you so much here um we really appreciate you being the first uh, guest for the one nation podcast and, uh, you're welcome we'll, we'll wrap it up if we don't have any, any further questions sounds good yeah no, nothing else from me and nothing else from the viewers so far so we'll let you run for the night and yeah again we really appreciate you doing this with us oh you're welcome you're welcome, it's Thanks fun. a lot, man. Have a good night. For right. well, the stream, we will uh, stop the stream, but uh, we'll be opening it up here shortly. We'll most likely have just a friendly pickup, 10 v 10 like as a recipient. Yes. So stand by if you can. But thank you again, guys, for coming in and watching. And once again, thank you, uh, Corpus. Appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Have a good week.